What's going on everyone? Today is the day, much anticipated. Um, if you guys have been watching our last couple videos, Sword and Shield Darkness of Blaze has been the set I've been ex really excited about. Um, as you know, I kind of got back into collecting around the end of Sword and, of the end of Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield kind of hit. Um, you know, Sword and Shield and uh, Dar or, uh, Rebel Clash were kind of, um, I don't know, they didn't grab me as much. And I don't know if it's just the name or if it's that there's a Charizard on the set or what it is. But I'm really excited to get into these packs. Um, I did go ahead and order two booster boxes. Uh, one booster box I'm going to keep sealed in my sealed collection. And then the other box I'm going to open up through a series of videos. I went to go get fitted for a, uh, a wedding that I'm going to be in soon at the mall. And I stopped by a card shop and I just thought, um, I'll see if they have pre-release stuff. And he happened to have it. Uh, this little Charizard is up here. Blessing the uh, Darkness of Blaze Build and Battle box. Uh, they had these, and then he allowed me to buy three loose packs too. So that's really cool. Um, I don't know where we're gonna start. I think let's just go right into the the uh, the loose packs. Um, so these three loose packs and the packs inside the Build and Battle that'll total seven packs are gonna be open to Darkness of Blaze today. Um, code cards aren't gonna do you guys anything. Aren't gonna do any good. Uh, white code card though, so that's sweet. Um, yeah, so the cards that I'm looking for in this set, obviously, are any of the Charizard cards. The VMAX is very cool. But I'm also extremely excited for the um, Butterfree, any of the Butterfrees, and the Salamance. Um, and then I would say the Sleeper coming in kind of late there would definitely be the uh, Mew V card. I think it's really sweet. Here's a uh, holographic Decidueye. We're going to sleeve up that bad boy and put him back here. I'll move this over here. But yeah. So that's what I'm excited about. I was kind of on the fence about um, buying some booster boxes. Uh, I got two booster boxes for 175 bucks. I think that came out to be like 80, um, 87, 50 or something like that. A booster box, which is, which is a pretty good deal. Free shipping. So I had to do it. Um, but but yeah, the reason I didn't, the reason I was on the fence about it was because uh, Champions Path. Oh, Path. Sorry, clink. Champions Path was announced, and there's a lot of stipulation that there could be a, a hyper rare Charizard in that set. So a lot of people might have canceled their pre-orders or started to save up their money and try to direct it towards Champions Path. But uh, whoa, let's go right! Oh, second pack in. Um, I think the guy's name is Rose. Uh, I've seen him in a couple of the episodes of the new Sword and Shield on uh, Netflix. Uh, camera's not really focusing. But that's really nice. Hyper Rare Trainer card. Let's go. Anyway, lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, Champion's Path. Um, I don't know. It, it looks it looks cool. Uh, I'm excited for it, as uh, you know everyone else is. But um, I don't know. Something about Darkness of Blaze has got me really excited. Um, probably two weeks ago, I saw a guy opening cards on Facebook. He already had a booster box and some build and battle kits and... Um, I mean, if I was him, I probably wouldn't be opening it that early just because you never know what's going to happen um, and you don't want to snitch out your provider. But he was opening them up and uh, yeah, um, I saw a lot of the cards and he was having really bad pull rates. So that also started worrying me. I was like, oh no, here we go. They're going to um, we're gonna have another set like Rebel Clash where the pull rates just aren't ever really in your favor. And yeah. Um, yeah, and you know you have Charizard on it, so then people want to buy it, and then you have bad pull rates, so then people want to keep buying it. I didn't want that to happen with Darkness of Blaze. Um, as I start seeing more videos surface, uh, looks like the pull rates are starting to even out a little bit, and they look pretty nice. Um, I've never opened up one of these. Oh, okay, so it's like a little sleeve. Um, let's see here what we got. That's just a little play mat poster. Ooh, a Decidueye pre-release, Darkness of Blaze. So that's cool. And then there's just a bunch of cards in here, but I'm not really going to go through those because those don't really matter much. Um, but what does matter are the four packs, and we're just going to continue on opening these up, looking for those cards I mentioned before. Charmander, Butterfree, Mew, and Salamance are the four cards that I'm really excited about. Obviously, if you want to give me a Hyper Rare Rose, um, I'm fine with that too, and I apologize, you guys. These packs are really weird. And I'm getting green cards, which is never fun. Uh, let's go. Oh, come on. Heavy. Familiar Bell. Lavatar. Lavatar. Um, that's awesome. I like that they brought him back. I think there's also a Lugia in this card. Sorry, I got the cards way off. My bad. Ball Corona. All right. Uh, next pack. 
Charizard. These ones are opening up so weird. Look how most of the time the pack or the cards slide all the way down to the bottom, but they're just not with these. So here we go. Code card over there. You guys can't use them yet. I'm going to throw them in a different video, so don't you worry. All right. Dedine. Trap Inch. I, got, I caught a shiny Trap Inch in Pokemon Go today. A Bear Tick. Reverse Hollow. Oh, there we go. I think that's a, is that a full art. That is a full art. Nice. A full art Stunfisk. Uh, one way you can always tell about full arts is full arts are generally at the end of the set numbers before the secret rares. So sometimes a full art might look like the reg regular V card in some cases, but um, yeah, you can always check out at the bottom there, 184, 189. That's later in the set, which is nice. And obviously it's got the texture on it. So sweet. Um, I'm really excited so far. Those are two nice pulls we have. Here we have two packs left. Um, and then I think I'm going to open up some more packs for you, some more videos. Uh, the wife and I are going up to the Boundary Waters in northern Minnesota for a little four-day trip. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be really excited to get back. Uh, that Monday I come back, I, I, I hope we have some more Darkness Ablaze in the mail. But we'll see. Water Energy. Rare fossil for Ed Bunnaby. Come on. Shelmet. He's kind of a cool Pokemon. And a Lugia. Non hollow. I think. You know, I don't know if there's going to be a, a hollow Lugia in this set. I'm not completely sure. All right. Last pack magic. Let's go. Come on. You already blessed us with some nice cards. Let's make this opening even better. Code card over here. We're going to guess the energy on this last one. We're going to go with fighting and it's dark struggle gloves clang dark trick shelmet pompor tetris uh, rickety torchic reverse hollow lyrian Ooh, and a hollow heat tram all right we'll sleeve up this guy for you and like i said this is only four sorry seven booster packs so i'm really excited to keep opening up more of this um yeah so let's just go through the polls quick we just pulled him, Full Art Stunfisk, a Sweet Hyper Rare Rose, and a Holographic Decidueye, and then we also got the Decidueye in the pre-release symbol, which is really cool. I like these. So Some of these cards, the pre-release cards, don't go for much, but I really like when they put it on there for some reason. So that's that, you guys. I love it that you're here and watching, and make sure you guys message, subscribe, and we'll see you all on the next one.